we are now cat parents. <laughs> we got our baby. She's in there. Her name is Esther and she's so beautiful. You can't really see her at the moment. But she's in there. We're going to take her to my mom, my sister, Kay's mom. We're mm -hmm. going to introduce her to the family. She's so beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see her. Okay, guys, the house is a little bit of a mess at the moment because obviously my sister's moving her stuff out. We're moving our stuff in. But here is Esther. She is just exploring her new home at the moment. Hi. So she has no tail and she has something wrong with the eye, which they don't know what it is. But anyway, so this is the little bed we got her. Um, and then her little, got her a little teddy. I need to take that off. I'll cut that off when we get some scissors. Um, I've just set up her food bowl and stuff here for the moment and her litter tray is just in the laundry. Okay, she's gonna have something to eat. No, <laughs> she's not. Um, so yeah, this is Esther. I'll get some better footage of her soon. I just wanted to settle in for a little bit first and not stress her out too much. So yeah. Hey guys, um, it's been a couple of days. It's now Tuesday. We adopted Esther on Friday and she hasn't eaten or drank water or gone to the toilet, which the um, the cat's home did tell us about that, that like she probably would take a couple of days to settle in. So we've just been really stressed about her. Um, they told us to, they told us to call them like if, um, if, like it'd been a couple of days and she hadn't eaten. So we called them today and they recommended that we get like a cooked chicken and just give her a little bit bits of chicken to help get their appetite back. So we've done that. And our girl is finally eating. So we are just so like so pleased. This is the first time she's had like a proper go at food. Like she's been sniffing around her food and her water and stuff. But she's actually eating now, which has been a huge relief. Um, so that is our little Esther update. She's doing really well. She is so beautiful. Um, she's getting heaps more comfortable with us and stuff like that. So the fact that she's eating now is a huge relief. She's getting it all over the floor, but we don't care. We're just happy she's eating. Cade's mm -hmm. um, very relieved because he's been stressing about it nonstop. Um, but yeah, our baby's finally eating. Is that nice? As soon as we brought the chicken home, she dived straight into it. Um, they said that this can help like reset their appetite and get them eating again so at the moment we're just happy that she's finally eating we're hoping for a poo and a wee tomorrow um just yeah hopefully this is the start of her like getting settled and um i'm really really pleased that she's finally eating something that feels like a massive weight off our chest um i still need to talk to you guys about what actually happened to the cat home because we said we were quite disappointed um, but I feel like our views have changed a little bit since then, since that's that initial day. But, um, when I've got a bit more time, I'll sit down and tell you what actually happened there. Um, but for now, we're just really glad that our baby's eating, <laughs> making a huge mess, but that's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will sit down with you guys soon and explain what happened with the cat's home. Hey guys. Oh, this camera angle is absolutely terrible. Um, so we have had Esther for... Almost a month now. You've been with us almost a month. And she is the love of our life. <laughs> she is so beautiful. She is setting, settling in so well. Um, she sleeps on our bed. She gets along pretty well with um, Tilly, which is our dog. Um, which is great. So, yeah, she has been absolutely perfect. And ever since um, her first time eating chicken, she has not stopped eating. She is the hungriest girl in the world. Um, but yeah um she is just the perfect addition to our home and we are so in love with her um so i think honestly getting her was one of the best decisions of our life i'm so glad that we went through with it people were worried about us getting an 11 year old cat but i wouldn't have it any other way she is so beautiful um she's just the sweetest girl and yeah we love her she's so funny and cute and she just has so much personality um, so I am going to end this video here, but first I just wanted to quickly talk about the cat's home. Oh, um, so, oh gosh, oh my God. So, um, the, 
The videos have been a little bit all over the place because I was filming so many at the time and I was so flustered and stuff. But in my moving vlog was actually where I mentioned that um, we had been a little bit disappointed with the cat's home. Um, we went to 10 lives and that's where we got her from. Um, so initially we called up, we were going to adopt two cats. Everything was all good. Um, they were like, they were about to let us adopt the two cats then and there. We decided to wait the next day just to find out what day we were actually moving into the house because we obviously didn't want to buy the cats without having a place to put them. Um, got all of that sorted that night, went home, um, went back the next day and we were went in there to get our cats and they were like, oh, actually, you can't get two cats. And we're like, oh, okay, like that. Like we were just confused because the day before they were literally about to let us sign the paperwork to get two. Um, but we're like, yeah, okay, whatever, like that's fair enough. But that wasn't the thing we were annoyed about. We were annoyed about the fact that they said, they were like, okay, um, we actually don't think it's a good idea that you get any cats. Um, and we were kind of like, why? And they were like, you need to wait until you're settled into your home, which I do understand that as well. But I think it was just more, we were so confused because the day before they were all for it and the next day they were like, yeah, no, you're not, you're not adopting any cats. Um, and we're like, okay, uh, what? Then they kind of made it a little bit difficult for us. Like we showed up um, half an hour before adoptions closed and then by the time that we waited around for them to finish, to come and like talk to us and finish talking to us and stuff, we were like, look, we really want Esther, like we have everything sorted, like we're all good, we, we know what it's like to take on a pet and we want to do it. And by the time that she, they'd finished talking and we finished waiting for them and stuff like that, she's like, it was about 10 minutes until adoption's closed. And it says that on their website and she was like, oh, well, you're going to have to come back tomorrow because adoption's are closed for the day. And I was like, oh, I thought that it closed until 4. At this point it was like 3.50 and she was like, oh, yeah, look, you're just going to have to come back tomorrow. And I was like, they kind of gave us the vibe that they didn't think we were capable and that they really didn't want us to get this cat um and so we were kind of annoyed that it seemed like we were being kind of like judged i guess and like um they just seemed like they were trying to make it difficult for us anyway um they were like oh you're gonna have to come back tomorrow you're gonna have to be here at like three before three thirty. and i was like oh i don't finish work until three thirty. and she's like well you know you're just gonna have to try and make it so i ended up taking the next day of work because i wanted to be there the you know, the moment that it opened because I was like, I, I want Esther, like my heart was set on her from the moment that I met her and I just knew and I couldn't stop thinking about her and I was like, yeah, I want this cat. Anyway, it wasn't until that we went in then the next day that I kind of had a bit of a moment of clarity um, because when we, we ended up going in there the next day, we signed the paperwork, everything was all good and it wasn't until they were saying goodbye to her that I kind of saw how much they loved and cared for Esther like the workers did and that was when I kind of had that moment of oh like the reason that they are so make it kind of I guess a little bit difficult and the reason that they're so kind of um like not strict but you know what I mean like they're a little bit stricter on things is because of the livelihood of these cats and I know that that seems very um obvious but in the moment it wasn't to us because Kate and I know what we're capable of Kate and I know that we're loving people Kate and I know that we're capable of looking after animals and that we love animals with our whole heart and that we would you know always um look after animals to the absolute best of our ability but they don't know that um and then so after that I kind of I was like oh you know like what's the what's the turnover rate like do you get a lot of people bringing these cats back and she said that unfortunately they do so that was when I had that moment of clarity of like, okay, these people seem a little bit standoffish, these people seem a little bit difficult, but after years of working at that cat clinic, they've probably seen so many cats come back and be rehomed and be, um, you know, kind of discarded and I guess that after a while it'd get a little bit so it's only kind of it was only after then when I saw them say goodbye to Esther and like that I realised that, you know, they weren't being difficult, they were just looking out for the 
best interest of the cats so our views did change a little bit after that like i still feel like we we were still a little bit disappointed that it seemed that they kind of didn't want to give us a chance um but obviously they don't know what they don't know the people that they don't know kate and i they don't know how we're going to look after our animals like obviously we know that we're going to look after our animals amazingly but they don't know that so i understand that they were just trying to protect the cats um yeah, it wasn't until that day that we had the moment of clarity of like, oh, okay, like they, they, you know, they're just trying to do the best for these cats that they can. Uh, and, you know, that's why I wanted to adopt. I, um, I, from now on, if I ever get any more animals, I will always be adopting because, yeah, it, it's honestly been such an amazing thing to know that we gave Esther, like, another chance at life in a sense. She's 11 years old. She doesn't have a tail, she's got something wrong with her eye. Like, in the eyes of most people, she's probably not a very desirable cat. She's not a kitten, she's not, you know, um, what's the word? Like, you know, she's not, yeah, like, she's not a kitten, she's not probably a lot of people's first choice, but she is the most beautiful cat in the whole entire world. I think she's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And she's so beautiful and she's so sweet and they said that they had had no interest in her at all which breaks my heart because she is like my child now and i couldn't imagine life without her so um that's why i did want to adopt it like because i really wanted to you know find an animal that needed a new home um so yeah initially we were we were a little bit disappointed and thrown off by the way that they kind of treated us but now looking back we kind of you know we get it um but yeah so we've almost had it for a month um and yeah it's honestly been great she is so amazing she's so beautiful and um eventually we would like to get another one but we're not gonna think about that until we're not even gonna start thinking about that until next year um and eventually yeah we'd like to get another one adopt another one um but we've got like we're just not at the point where we need it like where we not need but like where we there's no oh i don't know how to explain it like we have other things on our priority list at the moment before getting another cat so eventually we would very much like to get another one but it's just not a priority at the moment we have tilly and we have esther and um looking after them at the moment is our priority and also doing other stuff to the house and everything like that so yeah um, thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really hope that you think Esther is as cute as I do. I think she's absolutely beautiful and I love her very much. My only um, complaint about her is that she takes up so much of the bed. <laughs> like she likes to spread out and I feel awful like trying to push her when she's already on bed. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to like so kate and i have been sleeping in some weird positions lately trying to sleep around the cat but yeah i wouldn't have it any other way i love her a lot but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye